You was the dumbest muck in the world, and you deserve whatever you got coming to you. Straight up. Dumb as hell. Dumb as a last night. That's why I went home early. I got to looking around. I seen one throwing up gang signs, shirt raised up, pistol in his waistband. I said, so when the lady crossed the street right there, called the police and point him out, he ain't going to know what happened. This is why I don't even like being around these dumbass. I'm used to moving, moving right. Like, what is he doing? Like, on some real shit. Like, this shit is crazy. It's moving everybody out. It's BET weekend. There's no all kind of shit is out. Just be. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Moving hey, you can't keep, their, a lot you of can't keep your head about. on a swivel if you drunk. Nope. Yeah, this is why I be laughing at a lot. They be talking that shit with me in these streets. You better not have no habits. You better not have no weakness towards a female. You better not have none of that. Because if you do, you not going to win with me at all. I'm going to wait, wait. And when you're at your most vulnerable point, I'm coming. Because this shit, I'm like, Looking at you, I'm like, bro, if I was a jacker, I'd have hit for like 500 last night. Woo! And I, that's why I tell each other, like, you look, ain't no hustlers. Y'all talking about y'all outside and y'all with that shit. Oh, look at all these Vicks. He's running around, loaded, stumbling down the street. Don't know where they park. Ask me, you know where I park my car at, big homie? Boy, boy, lunch. I, I said, yeah, right over there. In that yep, hotel, right over bro. here. I told him right over there in that hotel. I told him, I want to see. He stumbled right over there. I said, what if I'd have been on some bullshit? Because I don't know. Yeah, I don't say, know yeah give me your keys. I'll go get him yep. for you. <laughs> see, that's why they can't have that BT shit in Chicago. Because it got road. Oh, bro, no. They out there on some, on some crazy shit. I told him I ain't going to nothing. You got a black tie party? All right, I might come fuck with that. I ain't fucking with Because I know me. I'm sober. They get to playing and doing some weird shit. Listen, man. They ain't going to understand why they got socked out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Real you, know me, I'm, you know me, you know, we socking out. Old niggas, we keep a motherfucking blade on us. We know, and everything else. Like, niggas don't even be realizing, like. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. Last night I told Ray J, I said, bro, let's get up out of here, bro. Whack one more was over there to the area. I told him, let's get up out of here. Cool, come over there getting loud. I said, hey, homie, we ain't doing that over here, bro. Nigga, how you gonna mush that nigga in his face so hard? I grabbed his face and mush him. That nigga slid the whole BT. Look, all the execs know me. Ray said, yeah, big homie, let's get up out of here. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I thought to these two things my way. Yeah, oh, all right, yeah, because I see these niggas getting drunker and drunker and drunker. You know what I'm saying? I was like, look, bro, I'm over here in my space. You come over here playing, you're going to get played with immediately, and then they go to playing victim. Everybody want to tell me, wacky drunk. What that mean? Why do drunk motherfuckers that expect the sober motherfuckers? Why they get a pass? They don't get an excuse. Why do drunk motherfuckers That's expect the sober motherfuckers to adjust to them? Unbelievable. Yeah, nigga said, you the weird hey, one. You the one inebriated. Yeah. I... What's oh, up, tell nigga? Me. Lady killer last night. The nigga know to leave me the fuck alone. So I'm going I'm to punish your ass like you just as sober as me. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't fuck with nobody. None of that shit. I, 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 don't, I don't dance. I don't nothing. I'm there to make sure we get our business done and we out. You come playing, I'm going to give you one time. Hey, homie, go on, bro. And after that, nigga, that's what it is. And I always get, they always, I always, when the story come back, it's always my fault. They said, nigga, you, you, right, right, you, right, right. you didn't have to, hey, hey, but wack, you didn't have to wack, do them like that. It's always the same shit. But wack, you didn't have to do them like that. Bullshit. Well, how am I supposed to do it? Hold his hand. You were supposed to hold his hand and take him to the car and put him on and let him yeah, go. Once yeah. I have determined that it's an issue or that I'm going to get the job done, I'm not, I'm not, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I tell people, I'm like, look, bro, give us our area. That's it. Keep them niggas over there. Whoever with us, that's all we need with us. That's it. Niggas be motherfucker stumbled over there. Yeah. I just wanna come on. Hey, listen, bro, could you go over there? You look too close. What? What you say to me? Now I now the little birdie on my shoulder, I made the conscious decision. And to just hit you with the mush. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my mind is telling me to do some other shit. Could have broke you know? his shit. I'm like, nah, don't do that to them, man. Because all they're going to do is go sue you. That's it. That's all they're going to do. You know that's what they're looking for. So you know, what's the name said that? Oh, we looking to. Yeah, I'm but sue I'm you. tripping. I tell oh, people God, like that much patience, <laughs> patience, and that much money. No, nah, I just but I tell, but see, here goes the thing though. The person asked me that question. Is your mentality that we're supposed to adjust to the drunk motherfucker? Like we supposed to just? Oh, he's drunk, man. I done had niggas do some way shit. Talk out, say some crazy shit, all kind of shit. You know, and then he stumbles over there. He come back. He come back. And it's, uh, only thing, so he come back with a couple, like, gay dudes or something. But, uh, the, Joe Exclusive was with him, so. Joe, like, Joe Grady, he got over there. And he, Joe, like, you, you talking about what? I've been dealing with Joe for like 20 years. He's like a thousand. I said, Joe, you better get that nigga, man. Because now when they come back, you know, the homies is there. You know, they like, you know, I said, Joe is going to get fucked up. He like, Wag, let me get him up out of here. I said, yeah, get him up out of here, bro. I said, oh, Joe, I'll come outside. He like, nah. I said, oh, okay. I ain't, I ain't fucking with you, but I'm not acting like Oh, they this and they that, and it's cool. Nah. And I'm going to punish you like I'm going to punish your next nigga come over there playing with me. Just leave me alone. I ain't in there fucking with you, harassing you. That be the thing. Niggas feel like they can harass you, and then when you react, you the bad guy. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. Help me out with that shit. How is that supposed to work? Uh, every cause that's that, li that liquid courage. <laughs> every cause got a reaction. Everybody not trying to be around nobody that's in that type of state. Okay, that uh, I ain't fucking with that. 